Welcome to another Help Files. My name is Chris. This is John. Today's topic, RSS feeds. What is an RSS feed, John? RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication. It's basically a subscription service or a subscription program. Okay. Um, it was originally set up for being able to tell when a, a site was being updated, like a news subscription or something. You know you had content you wanted to get, but you didn't want to have to go out and search all these different things for it. Okay, now, basically how does it work? All right. Basically, what happens is you've got uh, webmasters or whoever's creating the content sets up a, a little program, it's a little script that will um, have pieces of content in it that a program called an aggregator that you as a user has will pick up on those and it'll check for updates every so often and instead of you physically having to go to XYZ website and look and see what's new, it goes through and it checks based on what the script says and mm -hmm. says, hey, they've added this this week since last time I checked, and it sends you an alert or in some cases even downloads the content for you. Okay, so when I'm going to CNN mm -hmm. and I want to keep abreast on the news, the um, political arena of, you know, the European, right. I can go ahead and subscribe to the, the European news and I'll get updates. Right, you subscribe and headlines related to whatever your subscription is will all come through your little uh, aggregator that reads that RSS feed. Okay. Now, what makes an ag why would I want to use RSS feeds besides just news? Um, it started out with news and, and you know stock ticker updates, sports score updates, things like that. Pe things that people wanted to regularly get. Uh, but the world has gone crazy with it. You've got the blogosphere now, and you know there's some great blogs out there that someone posts really interesting topics or they're you know, they, they've got a good expertise on a subject and I want to hear what they have to say. And let's say I have, you know, 15 of these things. Well, I don't have time to go check 15 different websites. And so this will automatically check on those updates for me. And then, of course, now that podcasting's come about and, you know, let's say with Math Club TV and with some of the other uh, guys out there, I really enjoy watching these podcasts. But, I, again, I don't have time to go to all 15 shows and see if they put one out this week. Uh, some, some of the... the people that put things out, like Hack5, are really good at putting them out on time. Some of them, you don't really know exactly, it may not come out at a certain time. So with RSS, it'll go out there and get that content for me, or at the very minimum, alert me when it's new. Okay, show me on here, let's let's pick iTunes, because that's one of the number one uh, things. Show me iTunes, here sure. how you would do it, okay? We brought okay. up iTunes. Right. So we, we pull up iTunes, and... Um, you can just search within iTunes. It's got its own database. You can look for something uh, with this particular aggregator, and it's getting that information from an RSS feed, okay. but it may not update as as quickly as the site's feed itself. So you can go, like, let's say we go to uh, the Math Club Productions website. We'll go here, and uh, I can subscribe to this feed. I can just copy this location. Okay, so I can see the little RSS button, but I also right. see an iTunes button. If I click that, that should get That me. should kick you straight through, but again, that takes you to iTunes database okay. form. If I, if I click on this and get the location and then put that into iTunes... Okay, so feed you, know, you copy, feed. I see you do the right click, and then right. you, you do copy, copy this link. location, and then you pull go back up iTunes, iTunes and go to, uh, go to the advanced... Uh -huh. podcasting and subscribe to podcast subscribe to podcast yeah, you can put that feed in directly and that way you're pulling the feed directly from the website that that you that webmaster is updating and you're getting their updates instead of having to wait for iTunes oh uh, that's great that's a great way to do it so the best way for me to do to keep up on some of these things that I like to watch is be able to go and see if there's an RSS feed. Can I find them on it? Is it going to be a button like on, on our uh, yeah, There's a couple ways to find things um, with if you use um, Firefox, which mm -hmm. we highly recommend, you'll always see, uh, depending on what version, either an icon right up here oh, in yeah, the I corner, can see the little orange icon right or there. a little orange icon dear, down here okay. in the corner, depending on which version you have. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Internet Explorer is supposed to be using the same icon um, when IE7 comes out. Okay. Uh, currently with IE6, it doesn't have a little icon that automatically lets you know, but typically, this little logo here, when you see on a website mm -hmm. where it says RSS 2.0, um, and 2.0 and 1.0, you'll see different ones. The only difference there is just what version of um, of uh, feed it is, or what version, okay. what version the code is, because they'll, they'll make updates on that. But uh, if you see that little RSS symbol, then you know that that site has something available for you to subscribe to. Now, last thing, I don't want to confuse our people anymore. You've just said RSS 1.0 and 2.0, but there's one other 
that I want to point out that might confuse them. Adam, what's the difference between RSS and RSS? Adam, uh, really they are the same thing. In, in, you know, the nuts and bolts of it, they work the same way. They're just different, um, different code types or different uh, uh, formats. Okay. But they do the same thing. So if you're using a program that uses Atom, um, you know it, it's it's doing the same function. So theoretically, it's the same. Okay. It's just a different uh, different code format. Okay. Well, folks, that sounds like a pretty good wrap up of our RSS feeds. Right now, we're going to be going to what? Going to the showcase. showcase. Chris is going to be showcasing another one of the great podcasts out there. Hope you guys learned something. Have a great week. Hey folks, how's it going again? This is Chris, again, showing you some of the vidcasts and IPTV shows that you can find out on the web. Check out my review here and see more information about any of the shows that I talk about here. The one we're going to be talking about today is Starving with Lewis. Starving with Lewis is a cooking show based out of Boston, Massachusetts. One of the best cooking shows that I've been able to find out there. Why? Well, because it uses ingredients that are really simple. What simple? We're talking about ramen noodle, we're talking about spam, we're talking about things you can find out of your cupboard. Really easy, simple recipes. Not only that, but it's got a panache for the movie style and kind of an avant-garde, edgy style to it that really gives it a kick. They put in a lot of humor in there, mixed with a couple 40 ounces, and I'll tell you what, it's a great scream and a laugh to watch these guys act and over, overdo everything. So if you're looking for something that's really funny and off the wall and especially teaches you how to cook, I would suggest checking out Starving with Lewis. That's my pick. Hope you enjoyed it.